So we may be closer to knowing if there's life on other planets. NASA just announced that a sample collected from on a Mars uh, ancient dry riverbed could be evidence that life may have existed out there or maybe still exists. Here to talk more about it and how this could change our minds is Emmy Hughes. Hey, Emmy, how you doing? Hi. And you Good. Are a, Thanks for having me, Chucky. I understand you're a planetary geologist and postdoctoral researcher at Georgia Tech. Thanks for being on the show. Let's get right to it now. You've uh, researched Mars. What's your reaction when you hear this news from NASA? Uh, well, it's very exciting. Um, it's really a kind of a thrilling discovery. You know, I think for people who study Mars and people who study the solar system, finding evidence for life is kind of, uh, you know, the golden nugget. It's what we really want to see. Um, it's one of the most exciting things we can find. And this is some, you know, truly incredible evidence that there may have been um, uh, some process, it might have been biological, that produced um, uh, the observations that we were seeing here with the Perseverance rover. So it's a, a really thrilling discovery. I think the community is excited to be able to talk about the findings um, I, with the public. I understand. It seems like we're always looking for water. We're always looking for some type of water because we know that would be sustaining life. Is there anything else? Is there something else that would, would lead us to have more firm belief? Yeah, so uh, I can talk about in this case specifically. So, you know, with the, the setting, the geologic setting, as you say, we're looking for water. So this is a river channel that fed an ancient crater lake on Mars. Um, so because we know there was water there, that's already very exciting um, uh, to see if maybe this environment might have been habitable. And then some of the other things that were exciting specifically about this rock uh, are that we found evidence of organic carbon. So uh, the Perseverance team finds a little bit of organic carbon. That's exciting for us because, you know, that's part of the backbone of, of life on Earth um, and is a really good sign that, you know, there might be something interesting happening. Um, and then there are other chemical signatures that, that folks look for. So, you know, we often look for phosphorus, for nitrogen, for oxygen. Uh, and then here we see that there were some phosphate uh, bearing minerals um, uh, that, you know, also may be involved in, in a process involving involving life or maybe not, but it could be life, which is which is what's so exciting. Yeah, you, um, you, so it's a collection of different things. Well, you know, when we think of life, okay, we instantly go to maybe some of the movies and we think of these alien types, you know, kind of thing. Go ahead and temper our, our expectations here. What sure. form of life could this be? Right, so yeah, we're not talking about little green aliens, um, you know, wandering around on Mars. We're talking about microbial life. Um, so, you know, uh, single-celled, um, maybe or maybe multicellular organisms, but but very, very small, um, doing chemical processes that, um, you know, uh, involve maybe some of the, um, the different minerals that are on, you know, in these environments and then producing other kinds of things as a byproduct. Um, so not, you know, one, we're not talking about mammals, we're not talking about kind of, um, you know, uh, uh, super um, kind of advanced life like we have, like we are human beings, we're looking at sort of macros or microscopic, um, you know, microbial life potentially. Mm -hmm. See, that, that tempers it just a little bit. Do you think, <laughs> do, do you think uh, NASA will now speed up plans to get back there uh, to Mars? For testing? Yeah, so this is a great question. So, you know, a Perseverance basically threw the whole kitchen sink at, um, at this rock uh, and analyzed it with everything that the rover had. Um, and now we sort of uh, published the findings from this. But the most important thing now, I think, is to uh, return these samples back to Earth. Um, so, you know, Perseverance uh, is part of maybe a larger um, uh, idea for a mission to, to have um, uh, a rocket go back to Mars to collect these drilled targets. So the sample was drilled and then returned them to Earth where we have incredible tools, you know, amazing instruments um, that we can use to really verify whether or not these are um, uh, biological materials or indeed whether they are abiotic, which is the null hypothesis. Um, so I think, I, you know, it's a great question. I think this has drummed up a lot of interest in the community and I'm hopeful that um, this can, you know, um, encourage us to maybe think about getting these samples back to Earth. Yeah, absolutely. And if this is, is true, right, if we believe this, there could be others out there as well. Mars is close to us, right? Venus, us, Mars. Wh which one is better for sustaining life? And I, I guess I, and I'm saying it as if, you know, life here on Earth, obviously, but uh, you know, obviously, uh, wh which is better? Which which would be a better planet? Or is it even further out? Yeah, so, so it's a great question. Mars and Venus um, are both uh, close to what's called the habitable zone for our solar system. So this is area, an area where you may have stable water. Venus uh, is extremely hot and the expectation is actually in Venus's ancient past, billions of years ago, it actually may have looked a lot more like Earth. 
you may have had oceans um, and then this runaway greenhouse effect may have led it to be a totally you know at least for our standards uninhabitable environment today mm -hmm. um, so you know to go look for modern life I you know it's it's probably not the right place to do it from my perspective um, on Mars, uh, you know, you have this incredible geologic record that's preserved on the surface. You don't have as dense gases that heat up your instruments, so it's a little easier to go there um, and explore the surface. And indeed, we also see evidence for ancient water in Mars's past. Mm -hmm. um, so, for modern explanation, Mars or exploration, Mars is an exciting place to go. But Venus's ancient past may have been not so dissimilar from Earth's and um, maybe advantageous to life as well. All right, so we're excited about it and we're gonna to continue to follow this. I want you to come on back as we get closer, get new research and kind of break it down for us each step. Until then, we're just gonna believe that women are from Venus and men are from Mars, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, Emmy. Really appreciate it. Emmy Hughes, ladies and gentlemen, really appreciate your insight on that.